on Kenny's Mama. I kind of learned more about the human body. And that whole experience that I did in the science classes I had, because in science they only teach you about cells. Why? You need to learn about cells. <laughs> like the human body, that makes sense. Like, oh, your muscles, you want to know what muscles you're using, but like cells? On that scale? <laughs> Take time, do what you're going to do, and just smile, you're going to see it through. Your wings are going to sprout and lift you off the ground. Do what you're gonna do, just smile, you're gonna see it through your wings, a corner sprout, and you will learn to fly. You're watching a Kay's Mom family vlog. This week we went to the Body Worlds exhibit in Kansas City. because they were there for some event that we were also there for. The body donors chose to participate in this program for a variety of reasons. All wanted to contribute to the medical enlightenment of lay people, and without the contribution, this exhibit would not be possible. Body Worlds is like this exhibit where it shows like all the biology of the body. stuff which is kind of weird and unsettling but other than that it's kind of cool you could see like uh, every single body part there was like an educational part on it so you could learn about your arm your, like, your heart and your blood vessels and your brain and all that stuff and there are like slices of like lungs and all that stuff the exhibit shows the transformation of the human body through time. It goes from little tiny baby fetuses, which are babies, and then it went over to elders. Taught you everything about the human life cycle. At three weeks the baby it was interesting because it looked like a living creature even at that point. So at the Body Worlds exhibit they had stuff like hearts and stuff and like healthy organs. Like they'd have a healthy lung next to a smoker's lung. And interesting to me was that the healthy lung was also was kind of black because over your over your life you like collect dust in your lungs. And also they had this thing where they had like a kidney. They had like a they had like a cross section of a body and there's like cancers all over it because it all came from the liver and the liver is the most like potent place for cancer because it has the most blood flowing through it. Did you get cancer in your liver and it spreads through all the other parts of your body and it kills you slowly. Exhibit was the were the blood vessels that were like reattached and put back together, and it was the brain one because the brain was all like all red and cool looking. I found it disturbing, but I'm not one to get like woozy over that type of stuff, so I wasn't like fainting or anything. I just found it disturbing. But I guess the coolest part is the blood. 
blood vessels because they were like, they looked weird and fluffy to me. Plastination is taking the body that they've donated to science and then turning it into basically plastic. It takes 1,500 hours just to complete the first step of making the poses, which is plastination. And after that, it's probably like triple that to make it all the poses and stuff. Some of the poses, some of the people were in, like, some people were playing hockey, some were like doing a routine dance thing, where one, one was holding the other one, and then one was also coming out of a grave, which is a little weird. There's a guy playing baseball. What was your favorite thing at I think it was actually like the body fat, like how it built up. It was like the cutout of the human body and then they had like the fat and where it would produce. So they also had this exhibit with the uh, large and small intestine and they had it all like laid out and like all curvy and it was like super duper long and it was really gross. And then after that we went to the gift shop. Glad we're not taking that home. I want to take that home. This, this is cool. Yes, it is. It like, talks about all the diseases and stuff. Well, now I've got contacts. Mm -hmm. yeah, cool. We got some stuff. I didn't really get anything. And then we hung out with kid toy testers some more. I don't know what we did after that. But that's what we did. Yeah, if any of you are okay with that type of stuff, I'd recommend you go see it because it is kind of interesting and cool. And I very much enjoyed the learning aspect of it and the science and bi biology behind it. Because it looks all creepy and like disturbing, it's actually not all creepy and disturbing. It actually informs you on like how the body works and what happens inside of you and like how the blood works and stuff and like how your brain works where your organs are, and it's actually very informative. It's a good class field trip. If any of you have seen it, comment down below what you thought about it, and like if you thought it was weird, or if you thought it was informative, or just, just disgusting. Whatever you thought about it, if you've been there, or if you want to go there, then tell us that. We hope you found this video educational, and we hope you enjoyed it, and if you found it nasty, well that's okay. So. And don't forget to go check out the Daily channel where we do some other stuff. It's vlogs daily. So go check that out. Thank you for watching. Comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up. Follow us for your bye, Jimmy. So if you want to see this vlog in more detail, this event vlog in more detail, click that eye. Go to the Kitty's Mama Vlogs Daily channel to see our daily videos and daily vlogs. So uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Peace out, YouTube. See you next week, YouTube.